So what is the Newton Institute? What's it designed to be? What's its mission? What's, where is it going? These are, um, in some ways, actually quite easy questions to answer. The Newton Institute is supposed to be, and is, the premier place to do deep mathematical research, to uh, aggregate, bring together um, the leading people in a particular field, sometimes a small field, sometimes a larger field, and put them in an environment where they can interact for four weeks, six weeks, two months, four months, six months, with their colleagues, their peers, and take their subject forward, do groundbreaking research. And the Newton Institute is renowned worldwide for being literally the best place to do that. I think the I, obviously we have a little bit of a prejudice here because I'm sure the people at the Advanced Studies Institute in um, Princeton might disagree, but we are definitely the best place for doing this. It was set up in 1992 to fulfil that mis mission and for the past 26 years it has absolutely done that. Um, the breakthroughs that have happened here, the advancement of human knowledge has been extraordinary. Uh, and going forward, of course, we have to ask, where is the Newton Institute going to go now? Well, to a great extent, my answer to it is, to that question is, well, it's doing a pretty good job. Maybe we don't want to change it too much. Um, the, the programs work well, the environment works well, the, the whole philosophy of the Newton Institute has worked incredibly well for not just the mathematical sciences but also the sciences that rely on mathematics to enable their work. I think you know, there's definitely a desire here to enhance the uh, Newton Institute's role. Some of that of course is just to do more. Um, if something that you're doing is good then do more of it. Um, and we have plans, or at least aspirations at the moment, to extend the Newton Institute physically and allow us to run more programmes. And hopefully that will be a good thing, although it will obviously be quite disruptive. Um, I think there are also roles that the Newton Institute plays outside that. Clearly its primary role is to advance the boundaries, the, the very boundaries of mathematics. But through the programs that run through the Newton Gateway, uh, we interact with industry, with participants. We have programs where there is that crossover, the, um, the meeting of practitioners who have a problem and math mathematicians who, have, who maybe don't have a solution, but they have a technique. And that is also a very powerful thing that the Institute does. Primarily, the Newton Institute's job is not to solve specific practitioner problems. But where we can do that, I think that's a very valuable thing for um, society as general, uh, in general. And there are also outreach programmes that the Institute does to schools, education, um, open days, all sorts of things that it does. But it is important for us all to remember that its primary role is to be the preeminent place where mathematical research is done worldwide. Being the chair of the management committee formally means that I chair the management committee. The management committee meetings, there are three a year and we do the normal things that one would expect in a management committee. We check the accounts, we look at the programmes. We're not of course responsible for the academic side of it, which is the science steering committee. But we discuss fundraising, buildings, staff, all sorts of things that you would expect to do in a, in a management committee. And formally, three times a year, I have to spend about two hours chairing that meeting. And that's kind of what I do. More broadly than that, of course, the role is in some ways to be a cheerleader for the 
the Isaac Newton Institute to promote it, to um, externally, to support it where necessary, um, to also discuss with the director and the de deputy director maybe longer term plans. Um, as I'm sure everyone is aware, you know, there is a plan to potentially extend the Newton Institute uh, physically. And so discussing and understanding what the issues are there, what the problems might be, and as always the problems are raising money. But um, my role I think is also to be a sounding board for the director and the deputy director in terms of understanding how we can do that. And fundamentally also at its uh, heart, being the chairman of the management committee is about supporting the Newton Institute in any way I can. Well, I suppose it depends how far back you want to go. I was really super interested in mathematics when I was six and seven. Um, I remember being shocked when somebody showed me Gauss's solution to the 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n problem. Um, I remember that being a real um, eye-opener to me. So I was always mathematical at school, uh, did a degree in uh, physics and astronomy, um, did part three of, um, of the maths tripos here at Cambridge, and then went and did a PhD in general relativity. Now, you know, I enjoyed that immensely, and uh, as is often the case in PhDs, I worked on a very small, tiny sliver of general relativity. But I enjoyed it immensely. Um, it was a fabulous time. I got to make one rather small um, addition to the corpus of human knowledge and mathematics. And then um, my career took a different course and you know, I ended up being uh, eventually in a quantitative role in the financial industry, which of course is mathematics and statistics as well. It's very much practitioners. Uh, Place, and it's certainly not, in some cases, uh, it's certainly not at the cutting edge of um, mathematics. But I have all, always been interested in mathematics and science. Um, and about um, seven or eight years ago, the previous uh, chairman of the management committee, Howard Covington, um, invited me to one of his fabulous dinners where he invites uh, a Nobel Prize winner or a Fields Medal winner to come and talk to a bunch of people at dinner. And it was utterly fascinating. Um, and over the subsequent few years, I got more involved with the Newton Institute. And then when Howard, uh, when Howard's term finished and he moved on to be the chairman of the Alan Turing Institute, Howard asked me if I would take over the role. And that's how I ended up here today. Um, I'm very proud to be in this position. It's, uh, it's The responsibility is actually sometimes quite worrying to be in some small way responsible for the future of this fantastic institute. Um, but it's, it's also for me a fabulous privilege and also just incredibly exciting to be involved you know, with math mathematics, something that I have loved for as long as I can remember.